Hi, welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 3. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 20 of Book 3, which states that if we have E, the center of this circle, and we create an angle BEC, then any angle drawn from the circumference of the circle that shares the base BC will be half of the angle at the center. So BDC, or delta, will be half of epsilon. Or BAC, alpha, will be half of epsilon. So to prove this, let's draw a line from A to E and extend it out to the point F. Now, if we look at this triangle ABE, AE and EB are equal. If they are equal, then it is an isosceles triangle. And as an isosceles triangle, these two angles will be equal. That's from Proposition 5 of Book 1. Now, from Proposition 32 of Book 1, the exterior angle of a triangle is always the sum of the opposite angles. So theta plus theta is 2 theta, or in other words, B, E, F is equal to 2 theta. Similarly, if we look at this triangle, it again is an isosceles triangle, and we'll label these angles gamma, and again, the exterior angle is the sum of the opposite angles, so F, E, C will equal 2 gamma, Now, if we look at all the angles that we have defined, the angle BAC, alpha, is equal to theta plus gamma. BEC, or epsilon, is equal to 2 theta plus 2 gamma. So here we have that alpha equals gamma plus theta, and epsilon is equal to 2 gamma plus 2 theta. Or, in other words, epsilon is equal to 2 alpha. So we've just demonstrated that this angle is twice of that angle. Now carrying on, we're going to do the same for point D. So now we're going to demonstrate that BDC is half the angle of BEC. We start by drawing a line from D to E and extend it out to the point G. Now, if we look at our triangle, DEC, it is an isosceles triangle with equal base angles, which I call beta. The exterior angle is the sum of these two opposite angles, in other words, 2 beta. Now, if we look at EDB, the triangle is also an isosceles. This time, we will label the base angles as lambda. The exterior angle is the sum of these two or 2 lambda. So now if we look at all the angles that we have defined, the angles that we are interested in, B, D, C, and B, E, C. So this angle here, delta, is equal to beta minus lambda. This angle here, epsilon, is equal to 2 beta minus 2 lambda. So we have that delta is equal to beta minus lambda. We have that epsilon is equal to 2 beta minus 2 lambda. Or in other words, epsilon is equal to 2 delta. Or this angle is twice that angle. And so thus we have demonstrated that if we have a shared base, BC, any angle from the circumference of the circle will be half the angle from the center of the circle. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.